build your own practice as a financial services professional. I am a managing director at a financial services firm. My primary responsibility is to build out a team of financial services professionals that work with clients to help them achieve their financial goals. I did not start my career in financial services. I taught English in South Korea for three years after I finished college. When I returned to the United States, I took a job with a financial services firm working in an administrative capacity. I have always been willing to raise my hand and let my boss know that I want to take on more. That has been critical to my professional advancement. There are no hard and fast degree requirements in financial services. I earned a degree with a double major in philosophy and English with a minor in music. Those fields of study help me learn to think constructively and have conversations about things outside my realm of interest. After working in financial services for a while, I went to graduate school and earned an MBA. It was helpful for advancing in the industry, but not required. When hiring, I look for people who have made a commitment to something and have seen it through. It can be education, military service, or any number of different life experiences. To sell financial services products, specific licenses are required. Licenses normally require several months of study and involve a one to multiple day exam. There is a lot of continuing professional education in financial services, so you need to enjoy learning. Working with people and providing solutions is one of the most enjoyable things about being a financial services professional. Knowing that a client is in a better financial position than they were when they first met you is very rewarding. A financial services professional normally builds his or her own book of business from scratch. The first few years in the industry are extraordinarily challenging. There is a lot of rejection as someone tries to build their practice. On the flip side, once a financial services professional has established a practice, income and flexibility tend to be high. To have success as a financial services professional, someone needs to be self-motivated and entrepreneurial. Building a financial services practice involves a lot of networking and meeting people that you may not know well. Advice. It's okay not to know exactly what you want to do. Focus on the experiences you're having and the connections that you're making at the moment. Recommendation. Talk to several people in the financial services industry to find out what's available. Recommendation. Look at the life and health insurance exam to see if the material covered looks interesting to you. Listen to Insider Mary's full interview to hear more about what's required to get a financial services practice up and running. If you are on YouTube, check out the episode notes for a direct link to this full episode. If you are on our website, continue scrolling to listen to the full interview. Otherwise, search for episode 25 at www.yourpurplekoi.com slash dive in.